find compound interest on rupees 5000 at 16% per annum for one year compounded half yearly so let us understand this example so suppose you have deposited an amount of rupees 5000 in a bank and you want to take out the amount at the end of one year now the bank says that they will pay you a compound interest at the rate of 16 percent per annum so the rate r is equal to 16 percent per annum however they also say that the interest will be compounded half yearly so what that means is that at the end of six months they will take the interest which has been accrued for these six months add that interest to the original principal and then for the remaining six months they'll pay interest on that whole amount so at the end of six months the principal let's say this is p1 will be equal to the original principal which is p plus the interest for six months now let's understand what is the interest for six months and how do we find that so we have been given that the rate is 16 percent per annum so what this means is that for every month you get an interest of 16 divided by 12 percent so one month the rate is 16 divided by 12 so for six months what is the rate so let's say this is x so cross multiplication here x multiplied by 1 is x is equal to 16 by 12 multiplied by 6 6 ones are 6 6 twos are 12 2 ones are 2 2 eights are 16 so x is equal to 8 percent so at the end of six months you will get an interest of 8 percent on the principal amount now let's try to solve this using the formula for compound interest so the formula for compound interest is a which is the amount so amount is equal to principal plus the interest that you have accrued over the period of time so a is equal to p which is the principal at the beginning of the tenure multiplied by 1 plus r which is the rate of interest divided by 100 to the power of n now n here is the number of time periods for which the interest is being compounded so for example here the interest is being compounded once after the six month period and then again at the end of one year so n is 2 in this case suppose the interest was being compounded quarterly so every three months then n would be 1 2 3 4 so n would have been 4 now r goes in relationship with the time period which is n so here since we are taking n as 2 which is the first time period is after six months so r has to be the rate of interest that you will get for the first six months so for example here you are getting 16 percent per annum so for the first six months you will get half of it which is eight percent so in this case r is eight percent now suppose we were considering this as quarterly compounded then n would have been four 
and R would have been 16 divided by 4 because 16 is per annum. So 16 divided by 4 would have been 4%. So in this example here, we'll take R as 8% and N equals to 2. So now A is equal to principal, which is 5000. And we'll multiply this by 1 plus R, which is 8 divided by 100 to the power of 2. So this is equal to 5000. And this is 1 plus 0 0.08. 8 divided by 100 is 0 0.08. So this becomes 1.08 square. So let me pull my calculator here. So 1.08 square multiplied by 5000 is equal to 5832. So this is equal to 5832 rupees. So this is the amount. So at the end of one year, the total amount that you'll get is 5832 rupees. However, we have to find out the compound interest and not the amount. So the compound interest will be equal to the amount minus the principal this is equal to 5832 minus 5000 so 238 so 832 rupees is the interest